There are many theories which orbit the Apollo space missions. However, apart from the obvious moon hoax claims, there are many other baffling tales surrounding these missions. Surrounding not only a proof to the validity of the programs, but also a seemingly transparent approach to presumably many, although we would never believe all, of the anomalies that the American Space Agency encountered during those incredibly expensive yet highly successful missions. Watched by nearly everyone spinning around on our small globe, one very few lucky enough to travel away from like to call the blue marble. There are many unexplained images that have been snapped of the moon by NASA. Some claimed as showing nothing like that of the famous pyramid we have covered in the past, seemingly rediscovered on an image once claimed by NASA as an overexposed image. Yet there are many other anomalies and objects NASA neither confirm nor deny the existence of, yet still release said images to the world. They do not deny and equally accept that many they cannot explain. The Shard This image is a 44-time enlargement of a lunar orbiter frame coded LO384M. Taken with a medium-resolution camera at a distance of at least 250 miles, it shows an object dubbed by Richard Hoagland as the Shard. Interestingly, although some have dismissed the object as a simple camera malfunction, the Shard also possesses a shadow correctly aligned with the position of Saul at that time. According to Hoagland, quote, Poor resolution images like this one of the Shard have led some to conclude it is an ephemeral outgassing event. However, the Enterprise mission enhancements reveal no spray or splatter, which would be consistent with such a conclusion. He goes on to state, the object appears to be solid, though badly battered by meteors." End quote. Above and behind the shard is the tower, another among this collection of mystifying images of apparent lunar objects. The tower has been researched and studied by many people since its discovery among NASA's images. A massive structure, calculated as being an incredible 7 miles high, this estimation clearly makes any consideration that the tower is indeed a real structural anomaly, soaring from the lunar surface a tough pill to swallow. Yet the images remain an incredibly difficult thing to explain, and the tower's cuboid feature atop just adds to this ongoing mystery, yet one of deep intrigue, is the mystery of Castle. The name given to an object captured by the Apollo 10 astronauts during the moon orbit mission codenamed AS-10-32-4822. It is of a one-mile-long object floating miles above the lunar surface, like a satellite to our satellite, that, even more amazingly, is possibly like that of what makes Saturn's rings, that being ice crystals of pure water, is apparently, according to future enhanced image study, also made from a material alike glittering glass. Apart from the reports of strange music being heard on the far side of the moon, a claim few will ever be able to confirm the truth of, this extraordinary object is something very few know of, and even less have studied. Unless more attention is given to such incredible anomalies, ones witnessed by us already and so relatively close to our little home, we may never know what they are. They are, undoubtedly, highly compelling. Last month, a milestone was reached regarding astronomical observation. For the first time in known human history, we have successfully spotted and identified an object which has traveled to our solar system from interstellar space. However, this object is of a most peculiar shape, and additionally, it displays some rather particular characteristics. A cigar-shaped object, which is about 1200 feet in length, it is such a strange object in fact, SETI. The Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Project has officially declared that they are planning on using their enormous satellites to scan the object to see if it is a quote, alien probe. Scientists initially thought it was a comet, but it was later reclassified as a possible alien probe and named Oumuamua. Researchers from the SETI project's wing, Breakthrough Listen, are planning on listening in on the asteroid in the very near future using their Green Bank Radio Telescope in West Virginia. A statement from the team read as follows. Researchers working on a long-distance space transportation have previously suggested that the cigar or needle shape is the most likely of architectural design for interstellar spacecraft. 
since this would minimize friction and damage from interstellar gas and dust. On the 19th of October 2017, the Pan-STARRS-1 telescope in Hawaii picked up a faint point of light. Scientists soon realized that its orbit shows that it had come from interstellar space, now believing that it has been traveling through space for millions of years. Astronomers suggest that Oumuamua is dense, constructed with a high metal content, lacking any significant amounts of water or ice, and its surface is now dark and reddened due to the effects of radiation from cosmic rays. Could we really be on the brink of actually discovering an alien probe? A probe millions of years old and possibly far more advanced than we are now? The implications are clearly profound. We have in the past covered the intriguing anomaly which was spotted upon an asteroid known as Itakawa. The asteroid conveniently chosen as the target for the first ever satellite mission since its launch on the 9th of March 2003, the probe explorer Hayabusa has completed several interplanetary flybys, traveling a total of 2 billion kilometers to arrive at the asteroid known as Itakawa. It seems during this particular asteroid's enormous orbital journey around the cosmos, it has picked up an unusual passenger. Clearly no normal space debris, this mysterious object, now perched or quite possibly impaled upon the front of the rock, looks for all the world like an artificial, alien satellite. Although SETI has not yet investigated Itakawa, we will keep you posted on their investigation of our cigar-shaped interstellar visitor. It is largely accepted within mainstream archaeology that modern civilization started with Iraq, within what we now call Mesopotamia. Iraq is currently accepted as the longest surviving continuous area of civilization anywhere on Earth. The question is, how did this very ancient culture excel so successfully within their surrounding environment? How did they develop such sophisticated methods of survival at such a primitive time in our history? There actually exists a series of figurines made by unknown people that predated the Sumerian culture by some magnitude, known as the Ubadian people. Were these the source of Sumerian wisdom? The only problem is that the figures are representative of a race of reptilians, a discovery at the Al Ubaid archaeological site where many very ancient artifacts were found, depicting humanoid figures with lizard characteristics. The origins of the Ubadian people is unknown. Their entire existence is a huge mystery to mainstream history, and although this race of people may in all possibility be the pioneers for modern civilization, very little is known about them. They apparently lived in large village settlements within mud brick houses. They developed architecture, agriculture, and farmed the land using irrigation. Their domestic architecture involved large houses, open courtyards, paved streets, even food processing equipment. Some of these villages began to develop into towns, temples began to appear, as well as monumental buildings such as in Eridu, Ur and Uruk, once the capitals of the Sumerian civilization. Many of the figurines exhibit different postures, and in most cases they appear to be wearing a curious helmet of some kind and have some form of padding around the shoulders. Other figurines were found to be holding staffs or a scepter, possibly as a symbol of their status amongst the group. Each figurine was clearly intended to represent a unique individual. Some female figurines were even discovered holding babies, with the child also represented as a reptilian creature. Just who were the Obadian people? Were these figures intended to represent tribe members? More research into their appearance and information surrounding the origins of their knowledge is clearly needed. We will of course keep you posted on any future developments regarding this mysterious, valuable and quite possibly reptilian tribe. Many people assume that ancient astronaut theories are nothing more than modern pseudoscience, holding no credence within reality. However, this is a mistake. The idea of ancient visitors from other planets in distant galaxies has been around since the beginning of human history. Although the theory has undoubtedly gained tremendous popularity over the past few decades, nearly every ancient tribe and civilization found on Earth, regardless of geographical location, have a story regarding visitors from other planets. Our choice of the most compelling would have to be that of the Dogons in Africa one of the oldest surviving tribes on Earth. They not only have a legend which tells of alien visitors, 
but they retained invaluable data, reliable knowledge which was passed down from generation to generation. Details surrounding their ancient visitors' home solar system. Details that at the time, modern civilization had yet to discover. Known as the Nomo, the Dogon tell of giant reptilians who had traveled here from a small sister star of Sirius, a star with a 40-year orbit that the Dogon still celebrate every 40 years. What is remarkable about their claims, however, is the details they give regarding the Sirius system and indeed the Nomo's home star, a tiny star which our modern telescopes did not confirm the existence of until several years after the first cataloguing of this information. Another strange reaction to these remarkable experiences within these ancient cultures is a wanting to replicate the appearance of these entities. These interplanetary visitors often brought gifts in the form of knowledge. Due to these revelations, many of our ancestors have perceived these beings as godlike. The teaching of agriculture, the gift of hops, cannabis, the Dogon state that hemp was a gift from the Nomo. Indeed, the dog star is the source of the planet's name. Even strawberries, among many other living things, and ingenious techniques of managing such, have been said throughout antiquity, indeed throughout the world's cultures, to have first arrived here on Earth in the form of gifts from these beings. The dogu, dogu meaning clay figure, could be seen as commemorative creations in memory of such entities visiting our planet in the past. Made during the late Jomon period over 10,000 years ago, made with such tremendous skill and artistic accuracy, you have to wonder if these were not created with the purpose of remembering a detailed image of our guests' appearances, then what else were they created for? Or more specifically, to look like? Interestingly, some of the figures appear to have been deliberately created missing limbs, resting on intricately made crutches. Was this done with a likeness to real beings, possibly battle-scarred from previous more hostile encounters? The Incas, Mayans, Aztecs, Dogons, indeed anywhere you look within antiquity, you will inevitably be confronted with fantastic tales of ancient visitors. Even detailed knowledge of things so far out, we cannot even confirm if what they say is true. With so many similar legends found all across the world regarding ancient astronauts, it's safe to say the truth is out there. <laughs>